sometimes see those frugal tips and hacks and think, wow, these people are crazy. They have some really strict rules. If you're hearing some things and you're like, I do that and I still consider myself frugal, let me know. Instead of telling me the frugal things that you do do, let me know the frugal things on this list that you don't do. Hi everybody, my name is Sarah. Thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate you. If you don't know me, I am the owner of frozenpennies.com. I'm a financial coach and as a family, we are debt free. Let's jump right into number one. And I'm gonna tell you right off the bat, I don't do this. Stop buying single use coffee pods. I'm gonna tell you, I'm totally guilty of this. We love our Keurig. I know that I could buy one of those little cups. I actually have one and put my own coffee in, shut the lid and stick it into the Keurig. And I would probably have a better cup of coffee than I would with the pods. However, I'm a little bit lazy. It's early in the morning. I don't have time. I don't have brain function to pull out that little pod thing, put coffee in it, shut the lid and put it in the machine. My brain is not functioning yet for that. And then you have to clean that little thing every time you use it. Ugh, I, I think I'm frugally lazy. Number two, this is something that I don't normally do, buy prepackaged foods. However, I do buy them when we go camping. We are all done with our camping season. We got a good four or five solid camping trips in the summer and I buy prepackaged snacks for that trip. It's just easier. For me, the convenience outweighs the cost. Number three, brand name clothing. I don't normally do this. And, and, and if I'm digging into this a little bit, what exactly is brand name clothing? Does that mean that the brand from Walmart, is that a brand name because it's a Walmart brand? Or are they, they talking about like the high end stuff? I don't normally buy the high end brand clothing unless I'm going to the thrift store and I find it there. I'm not going out to Ralph Lauren and buying something off the shelf. Number four, extended warranties. Now, many people feel they're being frugal by purchasing extended warranties because they don't have the capability of, say, fixing their washing machine by themselves. So they buy the extended warranty, which is a couple of hundred dollars, and it saves them money in the long run from having to find somebody to fix it and pay that repair person for their time and for the parts where if they put the money up front, they feel like they're guaranteed saving money in the future. If, and that's a big one, if the machine breaks. However, what you can do instead of purchasing that extended warranty is to take that money if you're super disciplined that you would normally spend on an extended warranty and maybe put it into a savings account earmarked for washing machine breakage. Number five, frugal people don't pay for cable. Do they? Do you consider yourself frugal? Do you have cable? We don't because TV watching isn't really an important part of our process. We are normally busy during the day, so we don't watch any TV during the day. And in the evenings when we sit down, we find that we gravitate more toward YouTube or other subscriptions like Netflix or Peacock. I know many people, especially people that are retired, who find themselves very frugal, yet that is their form of entertainment and it's important for them to have cable. They watch a lot of TV in their downtime and they choose to spend their money on cable. Does that make them frugal or does that make them not frugal? Number six, coffee shop coffees. Ah, oh, I'm frugal. I love going out for coffee. I don't do it that often, but a grande soy latte from Starbucks really just makes my heart happy. And when I'm in Target, it's a must for me to get a coffee. Or the bookstore, we have a Starbucks in our Barnes & Noble bookstore. Not that I do a lot of shopping in Barnes & Noble, sometimes I do, mostly it's just for browsing while I have a cup of coffee in my hand. It's a form of self-care. I suppose the key here is to not get the coffee shop coffees every single day. If you do it once in a while, you still get to be frugal. 
Number seven, gourmet spices. I don't even know what gourmet spices are. I have basic powders and salts and mixes in my spice cabinet and that's all I have. So I, I guess I'm frugal there. Do you have gourmet spice? What are gourmet spices? Number eight, cleaning products. I buy cleaning products. I buy less cleaning products because I buy multi-use cleaning products, but I still buy them. I still buy toilet bowl cleaner. I still buy multi-purpose disinfectant spray. I still buy laundry soap and I still buy dish soap. Number nine, disposable razors. I don't buy these. I would rather use my electric razor. And honestly, it's because if I'm in the shower, I don't want to bend over and shave my legs. I'd rather dry shave my legs out of the shower. Again, it might go back to that whole lazy thing. Number 10, paper towels. Yes, I buy paper towels. Do I use them? Sometimes. Do I try really hard to use something else if I can? Most of the time. But Paper towels are so convenient, and there are just some messes that using a rag just doesn't work as well. Number 11, new books. I buy new books. I know the library is available, and I love the library, and I utilize the Libby app on my Kindle a lot for the library. But the fact of the matter is, I'm very impatient sometimes. So when I see a really great book that's gotten great reviews or somebody has recommended it on Bookstagram, getting it, trying to get it at the library is just gonna take way too long. And if I wanna read it, if I'm in the mood to read it, I want it now. And the instant gratification, I've said this so many times in other videos, I struggle with instant gratification. Vulnerability here, hi. This is me being brave. I struggle with instant gratification. <laughs> New books are my weakness. I can keep practicing. I can keep practicing being patient. That way I can avoid buying the new books and just wait for them to be available in the library app. Number 12, fast fashion. I have fallen victim to fast fashion, but most of the time my clothes are classic pieces that I found that I feel good in and that will last me for a really long time, that I'm not going to dispose of at the end of the season or donate because they're out of style. That doesn't really work for me. So fast fashion, yeah, I fall victim to say things on Amazon and I suppose that's a really great example of fast fashion as well as the clothes from Walmart or Target or even Gap, I suppose. The opposite of fast fashion would be investing in classic timeless pieces that are well-made, well-worn, and even better if you can find, it's really difficult to find, made in this country. And then adding on top of that, creating a capsule wardrobe so you have all of the pieces that work really well together so you don't have to go buy something new. But it's hard, right? I mean, you're going on a really nice vacation and wouldn't it be nice to have a, a new sundress to go to the beach with or if you're going to a wedding or a party, it's always nice to have something new. But if you can get past that instant gratification thing, then just returning to your closet and remembering that the clothes that you own, you love and you feel comfortable in and that work with your body style is the best option rather than trying to buy something new. Number 13, frugal people don't ever buy lottery tickets, do they? I mean, sometimes it's super fun if that Powerball is up to like $4.5 billion to just play around a little bit and take that, you know, $2, $5, $20 and throw down some tickets and see what happens. On the whole, I don't play the lottery. I don't think that ever in my life I've played the lottery. Number 14, premium gasoline. I don't know that I've ever paid for premium gasoline, but that comes back to me just kind of feeling frugal. If I had a vehicle that really needed premium gasoline, I would probably pay for it because I want to take care of my vehicles, especially because they're such a huge expense. I would pay for premium gasoline. But because my husband is very, very good with mechanical stuff, especially automotive mechanics, he says there's no reason for my particular cars to have premium gasoline. So I bypass that. And number 15, something that I don't normally do, pay ATM fees. 
I don't remember the last time I paid an ATM fee. I mean, yes, you go to an ATM machine that's not networked into your bank and you have to have cash for something because there are still places in my area, at least, that don't accept cards. So if you're in a bind and you have to use an ATM machine, then you would have to pay the ATM fees. Perfect example. We were camping up in the Adirondacks in one of our favorite places, and the little store there doesn't take credit cards. They have an ATM machine outside. So anybody who doesn't have cash is welcome to use the ATM machine first and then go pay for their snacks. But that little store does not take credit cards or debit cards. You'd have to use it because you're in a bind. You'd have to pay those ATM fees. But if you're prepared and you always have a little bit of cash in your wallet, as I do, I'm never without cash, I would not have to worry about those ATM fees. Did you know that many restaurants now are charging extra to use your card because they don't wanna absorb the fees that the credit card companies are charging them? This is fascinating. At our favorite restaurant, and I didn't realize this until recently, I guess it's something that happened pretty recently for them they decided to start doing, there is an extra fee attached to your bill if you decide to use plastic. I actually said to the waitress, I will never use plastic here again. You will always get cash from me from now on. I had no idea. These are 15 things that frugal people never do. Please give me your feedback down in the comments and let me know if you think that these are actually correct or are they completely unrealistic. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.